You guys cool with being on camera? Yeah. Okay. What's going on, Fishaholics? Oh, jumping in the car. And uh, Aaron, Justin, say what's up. What's up? What's up? And we're going to be doing some squidding. Um, trying something a little different. I don't squid that much. You guys. Um, this might be my fourth year squidding, so. Okay. Neat. Not too much, no. I've only been a few times. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, so I'm in like the same boat as you. I mean, it's not really, I guess, exciting unless you're catching huge ones, but yeah. I mean, they still taste good. So that, that's my like main goal is hopefully we get some for the table for, you know, some for the frying pan and make some calamari. Let's hit it. All right, we made it. Made it to the water, it's really packed. Now, what did you guys say in the car? That like the the squid is kind of like, they're only here for a certain amount of time and then... Yep, um, it's about a two week run. Two week run for squid, so we might be hitting it perfect. Uh, Justin was saying that a couple your, your buddies are here and they caught like a, a, couple, like a couple buckets yesterday. Yep. So hopefully we can fill up this bucket right here, get some nice fresh squid in there. And that, that's the light, right? Yep. Okay, that's the the light that'll hopefully attract some bait fish and then attract the squid. All right guys, so we're kind of just setting up right now and uh, I just got a little dropper loop rig here with this little Yozuri, I think, floating little squid jig. And uh, I've actually used something very similar like, you know, to this before and, uh, you know, caught some squid on it, but uh, not, you know, not really hardcore I've ever gone squid fishing. And it's pretty. It's a pretty big event tonight. There's there must be like 50 guys behind me or like 30 guys all all looking for squid. And uh, there's actually some stripers uh, busting on top. So we got some other fish here that you know if I want to try and catch you know to catch some. And uh, this is the light here that we got dangling in the water. Hopefully that'll help attract some squid once it gets a little bit later. Oh, just had a striper follow it up. Did you see that? No, I, I had like a I had like a 12 inch striper come after my jig. Where the heck did you get that thing? You, wait, you just you just walked down <laughs> down the side of the water and found a mop, <laughs> and that might I guess that might be the difference between. I was catching a couple squid and catching a whole bucket load of squid. Woo! Got a squid. A little guy. All right, guys, so we made a little bit of a move up on top of this bridge. And I got the first one right here. Not a giant, but over the rail and in the pail. There he is. Got him. It's a good one. Oh, look at the size of number two here. Oh, that's an upgrade. Awesome. I don't want to get inked. Oh, you got one? Yeah, that was really weird, but yeah. Oh, there he is. Boom. Number three. Seems like the tide's going out already, or is it just the wind? Oh, there he is. We're killing it. Oh, he, I think he yanked me a little bit. Yeah. That's why, that's why I wore all black, like I said. It's, last time I think I went squidding, I was in a white t-shirt. That's a nice one. Boom. That last one was just like on there. I just dig, like, felt something. Yeah, like twice in a row. Like the rod just kind of like went down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there he is. It's a heavy one. Oh. 
lunker right there. Oh, and I got him by one tentacle. That was a close one. Almost lost him. That's awesome. As soon as I touched him, he turned. Look at these. He's changing color right in my hand. It's awesome. Looks like we have about, I don't know, maybe like seven or eight, seven or eight of them. That's not bad. <laughs> Jeez, that's a nice one. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Look at the size of that one. Alright guys, back here at my Airbnb with some of the bounty from uh, tonight with Justin and Aaron. And I think we caught uh, maybe like 10 or 15, uh, you know, decent sized squid, all, you know, probably about this size. And then, you know, we caught some smaller ones. This was actually the first one that I caught of the night. And then, uh, you know, there were a couple thrown in that were a little bit on the larger side. And uh, it's a little after 12 a.m. right now. And I figured, you know what? I'm starving. I might as well. I might as well cook. You know, cook them up. Uh, do a little catch and cook for you guys. So uh, let's make some calamari. Okay, I'm not an expert on cleaning squid, but I watched a couple videos. I think I might have it pretty well. You know, pretty well packed. Cut off the eyes like that. Take out the innards. I don't think I'm doing this right. <laughs> I think I was supposed to pull out the innards while I still had the head attached. All right, well, that's the first piece there from that little squid. Not the best looking piece. I'm gonna have to <laughs> wash that off a little bit before it's ready for the frying pan. Practice makes perfect. perfect. Let's see if I can do it right the second time. Cut off these tentacles. There we go. That's the way it's supposed to be done. I think you can leave the, the skin on if you'd like. Sometimes you can take it off. I'm gonna kind of experiment here. I'm gonna take the skin off a couple of the tubes and then a couple of the tubes I'll leave the skin on and that'll Maybe even uh, what I, you know from what I've watched in videos, it says that if you leave the skin on, it'll uh, make the calamari or make it a little bit more crunchier. So that'll be kind of interesting to see if it actually uh, does make the squid a little bit more crunchy if you leave the skin on. That's a nice piece of squid right there. That'll make excellent calamari. All right, well I'm gonna cut this into nice rings like that and that's basically the ring of the calamari all right well i'm gonna try and keep it simple tonight i'm gonna just uh you know put some vegetable oil on the pan bread up this calamari with my favorite breadcrumb spicy hot panko and then i also have some of this sweet chili sauce i'm gonna try All right, so the finished product right there. I've got uh, some calamari that I actually didn't bother putting on, you know, the panko, and then I've got some calamari that has the panko on it, so 
I'm gonna try a little bit of both here. Have some of this chili sauce with this. That's pretty darn good. A little fishy. The one with the panko is probably gonna taste like chicken. That's really good. I'm gonna try and eat this. A big piece here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, thanks to Justin and Aaron for taking me out and uh, putting me on a really interesting fishery that, you know, I've been in Rhode Island for four years now as, uh, you know, because I'm going, I was going to school up here and I actually have seven days until I graduate, which is just really weird to think about. And I never knew of the excellent uh, squid fishery that was right in my backyard. Uh, there must have been like 50, pr probably even 100 guys tonight, um, you know, on the bridges, you know, on different pilings, docks, you know, all trying to catch squid and uh, bring them home and doing what and do what I'm doing right now. And uh, if you guys want to see more catch and cook videos, just post a comment down in the comment section below. I, I kind of want to know. I mean, I like doing them. Uh, they're a little more time consuming than just going out there and playing catch and release, but uh, they're interesting for me to do, especially when I'm catching species that I don't always catch and uh, species that I don't, always, I don't always bring home and eat. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Get out on the water, catch some fish, and never forget, live to fish, fish to live.